I found a snake in with Cheech Chong in China. Cheech and Chong, just five minutes ago, were literally losing their minds. They One, two, three. Right there. Ah, an invasive species. Look. I think there might be something under here. You think? What is this? What is what? What is that? What is up everyone and welcome back to the channel. I hope all of you guys are having just an absolutely amazing day and for those that are new here, well, I'm Jacob and welcome to my jungle. If you guys saw the title and thumbnail, well, you will know for today's video that I found a snake in with Cheech Chong in China. If you guys want to know what this snake is, if it's venomous, what happened, what the heck is going on, well guys, you are in the right place and we're going to hop right into that. I'm outside right now right by Cheech Chong and China's habitat now. I just had to run inside to get the camera because Cheech and Chong just five minutes ago were literally losing their minds. They were chasing what I believe to be, I think it was a snake of some kind, but here is Cheech and Chong. They're kind of just hanging out right now. And the reason why I think it was a snake is because it bolted off. I could barely even see it. And if you watch this video right here, this was the very first day after I put Cheech and Chong in their habitat and they annihilated a black racer snake. They literally chewed it to nothing. So I think that they were chasing some kind of a snake, maybe an Agama lizard. Guys, I'm not entirely sure. The servo cats have the highest kill rate of any big cat. They have a 50% kill rate. So anything that goes in there is most likely gonna get annihilated. So I'm gonna call Hannah over. We're gonna go inside of their enclosure first. We're gonna start looking around to see if whatever they were chasing is maybe inside of their enclosure. I'm gonna give Hannah a call right now and I'm gonna call her over. She's actually here right now. I'm gonna call Hannah. We're gonna put her on speaker right now. We're gonna, I'm gonna kind of tell her what was going on on right here let's see yeah. hello hey you're not gonna believe what just happened what you're not gonna believe it but like five minutes ago I was just over here by Cheech and Chong's and uh -huh. I think there was a snake or something in their enclosure they were going insane trying to chase it so I, I ran and grabbed the camera but I don't know well what do you mean you don't know do you want me to come out and help you uh yeah that was exactly why I was calling you because I was gonna See if you wanted to come on out. I'm going to go inside the servos right now, so I'll wait for you. We can do some investigating on the inside, but I'm not sure if it's on the inside. I think whatever it was bolted on the outside. Like, they were literally going crazy. Like, you know when the Agamas have ran in the enclosure? Yeah. They were, like, they going They were going crazy. Like, they were hunting it. Whatever it was, they were literally hunting it. So, all right, I'm going to go get the key for the servos. Okay. Um, you come over here, and we're going to try to get to the bottom of this, okay? Okay, sounds good. All right, bye. 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 All right, guys, you heard that. Hannah is on her way. I've got to get the keys to my servos. We're going to head inside and we're going to try and see if whatever they were going after is still in there. One minute, 37 seconds later. Oh, what do we have here? Hannah, you ready to figure out what the heck was going on? Yeah, let's do it. Where did you see it? So they were going, they were running back and forth going crazy, all 32 feet. They were going nuts. And I, again, I think whatever it was is on the outside. Oh but you never know what could be hiding up under the oh, deck. Yeah. I'm not sure, so let's head on in. Guys, you heard that. Hannah and I are gonna head on in. We got our little servo key, so we're gonna head in and see what we can find. So Hannah's gonna open on up right now. All right, we're unlocked. We got it on, and let's head on in to our servo boys. We've got Mr. Cheech and Chong. Hi, my boys. Hello, you guys are so happy to see your father. We have Cheeto, and we have Ch Chong. Why, you don't want to say hi? I think we should start like over here because I really okay. don't think like there's anything in here. The cats have kind of destroyed their palm frond, but wait, what if it's underneath that log right there? Which log? That this one? This log right here. Yeah. You I think, think it, it could be? I think it might, maybe. All right. Do you want to lift it up? I think you should. Okay. I don't know if I'm going to. All right. Gonna, we're going to see if whatever was in here is is uh, up under the log. One, two, three. Oh. I'm just you see anything? Ants. Ants? Okay, we ants, have ants. Else. No animals, no snakes, no nothing. So we're gonna make our way over here to Cheech and Chong's kind of covered area. We have another log. I guess I'll lift this one on up. I'm gonna lift this one up. One, two, three. Anything? Nope, nothing. Nope, nothing under this log right here. So we're gonna put this log back on down. Now we have an upper deck, a high deck, and a low deck on the floor. So I'm not really seeing anything in here, Hannah, besides a Chong boy. Hi, Chong boy. How are you, man? Yeah, I'm not seeing anything You're a good boy. Either. So Chong is just hanging out. Now, if I think I think if anything was in here, Hannah, I think they'd be chasing it. Yeah, of course. I think they definitely see So it. I don't think, there's definitely not anything living under here. Let's actually check up way up high here. So you guys are getting the full tour of Cheech and Chong's habitat. Now something could 
in theory, be living inside of their house up here. This is Cheech and Chong's like little winter house. And I don't see anything. So I'm not seeing anything inside of here right now. Wait, what? What? I don't, I don't know if I, if what? What is it? Here, but I, don't, I think there might be something under wait, here. Wait, wait, say, wait. What did you say? I think there might be something under here. You think there might be something under I there? I don't know. I don't know. I was like moving okay. around. Okay. Wait. So what, what did you see? What is what? Uh, uh, what is that? I think it, yeah, it was just a stick. Just a stick? Yeah. Oh my gosh, that I it looks like. Wait, it, let me see this thing. I that actually it moved. that looks like something. So this definitely could be mistaken for a snake, no doubt. I it really does look like a snake. Yeah. Yep, definitely looks like a snake. Definitely not a snake. That's Cheech and Chong's toy. But from this angle, you can see Cheech and Chong's entire habitat. They have this whole play area, a deck there, a deck here. You can see they've got this incredible scratching post that they've used. So I'm going to hop on down right here. You can see the servals just love to chase these palm fronds. So if there was any kind of a creature in here, it would definitely get attacked. So we're not seeing anything in here. So what I think Hannah and I are going to do is we're going to head on the outside and we're going to check these branches right over here. You see that pile? Oh, yeah. Something could definitely be living in there. And we're going to check all around. I'm thinking we should split up, Hannah. What do you think? Yeah, I'm thinking the same thing so we can cover more ground. Great idea. So why don't you go over by China's okay. and I'm going to go around this way and I'm going to look in that pile, okay? All right, sounds good. All right. All right, you tell me if you see anything. I'm gonna come over here first and kind of see what we can find because again, any kind of snakes could be living all up under these branches. As you can see, this is an avocado grove that's full of different wildlife. We have woodpeckers, we have squirrels that live in the trees and they all kind of live simultaneously. Now this is kind of the honey hole spot right here because I'm not sure if you can see, but there's all these little burrows and crevices right up in here. I mean, this is like a perfect little burrow for a snake of some kind. In this old tree stump, there's can, animals can go all the way up inside there, but I'm thinking right here could be something. So whatever it is, we wanna kind of do this gently. I'm gonna move this branch. Oh, we have it a lizard. I'm gonna try and catch him, guys. I'm not sure if you see that brown and old. Oh, he's right there. Guys, do you see that brown and old? Look at that little lizard right there. We're gonna try and catch him right now. It's hard to do this with a camera. Wait, I see a brown and old, Hannah. Really? Brown and old lizard. Huh, I got one, I caught one, huh? Got him, got him, Hannah, come help me, help me, help me. Okay. I'm one-handed, I'm one-handed. I wanna show everyone this lizard. Okay. Come here. All right, so we got a brown and old right here. Oh, I got him. Guys, look at that. A little, almost like red brown and old lizard. Look at this little guy, so this is, this is a crazy little lizard right here. We caught him. Look at him. So this is one of the many animals that you'll find here in South Florida. These guys are literally everywhere, all over everyone's backyard. We have these cute little lizards right here. This one's got a really cool pattern right here, and this is an invasive species that's native to Cuba and the Bahamas. They're not supposed to be here. Luckily, I have a buddy of mine that like loves these guys. He has a bunch of them. So since it's invasive, we're gonna give it to him. So we put that lizard inside. Now I wanna flip this branch over. This branch feels like it could have something underneath it. So guys, I'm gonna roll it, but first, comment down below. Is something living underneath it? Well, there's only one way to find out. So one, two, three, right there. Ah, an invasive species, look at that. This area is filled with tons of invasive species. Now this is an invasive cane toad. This is one of the worst invasive species we have here in South Florida because these guys right here are actually toxic to dogs and cats. And this is really bad because we have our serval cats right here. And we definitely don't want them to come near here because if you come look right here, and you come right here to these toxic glands and you squeeze them, I don't, if you see all of this white coming out, that is all a neurotoxin, which is very toxic to dogs, humans. If I were to touch that toxin and touch my eye, my eye would blow up. I could potentially go blind. These are not a good invasive species to have around, especially when you have animals. The same buddy that collects brown anoles also collects these cane toads, so we're gonna give this to him as well. So now that we checked out that second branch, we're gonna check out this one and one, two. Oh, look at the centipede, look at that. That's crazy, look at this thing. Look at this, I don't wanna get bit. These things have a horrible bite, look at him. Look at him, look at him, look at him, look at him. Oh my gosh. Guys, come over here. We're gonna... Where'd he go? We just lost that centipede. Now the reason why I was so jumpy with it is those things will bite you and they have a nasty venom that I definitely don't wanna get bit by that thing. I was gonna try and move them over to those aluminum panels over there. But if there's one, that means there could be more. So guys, we've already seen a brown and all, a cane toad, a giant scary centipede. This little area is loaded, so I'm just gonna kind of sift around right here, see what else we can find. I wanna move some more of these branches around because every branch we move seems to have some kind of animal, some kind of a creature living underneath it. 
not seeing anything here so we kind of flipped all these branches over so let's keep searching near china what do you think hannah yeah uh, i'm thinking the same thing let's all right do it. let's go do it guys right there that's our culprit you can't see it because he's blending in with the grass he's totally blending in but there's a black racer snake right there a black racer that looks like He's flickering his tongue, just tasting the air. Now these guys, once they're disturbed, you look, he's flickering his tail. Look at this guy. Look at him. I'm gonna pick him up right now. Oh, oh, black racer snake. Oh, we got a black racer right here. Look at that. Ha ha, black racer snake, baby. Look at that. One of the, look at this guy. Whoa. This right here is definitely what the cats, what my servals were going after. Now these are one of our many native species here in South Florida. But these guys have quite an attitude. Now they're not dangerous, as crazy as he is. I've been catching these black racers since I was a little kid. And as you can see, he seems aggressive, but he is just exhibiting his natural defenses. This guy right here, if we kind of handle him with care and delicacy, we shouldn't worry about him attacking. But this is so cool to be able to find these snakes in my very own backyard. Now, most people wouldn't like these snakes, but for me, I actually love finding these snakes. These it's really hard to see that black racer out on the grass, so I'm gonna put him right here on this metal, and you can really see that he has got a spicy little attitude for a little snake. Now, look at him. I'm not scared of him. One of the coolest native snakes that you could possibly find. Look at this little guy right here. Come here, buddy. Don't be mean. Come here. Oh, come on, buddy. Don't bite me. So I'm gonna pick up our little black racer friend right now. You can see he's just flickering his tongue. He's ready to be released. Now we're just gonna handle him as gently as possible. And we're gonna walk him way to the back where he's not gonna encounter the serval cats and he's gonna be, and he's gonna live a happy and healthy life eating all kinds of rats, snake eggs, all kinds of stuff. So we've got our snake friend. We're gonna keep walking and find him the perfect spot. All right, I think we found the perfect location for our little black racer snake right here. So I'm just gonna kind of put him right up here on this branch and this is exactly the kind of habitat he's gonna to wanna to hang out in. You can see we're releasing him right over here and he is just taking on off right here. And well, that, my friends, is going to end today's episode. I hope all of you guys did enjoy watching today's video, catching the culprit that was inside Cheech and Chong's enclosure. Not only did we find that black racer, but we found crazy centipedes, invasive cane toads, invasive brown and oles, some of the craziest creatures you can find from here in South Florida. If you guys enjoyed today's video, please make sure to give this video a thumbs up. Comment down below what you want us to do for the next video. And guys, if you're not subscribed yet to me, you want to see more servals, you want to see more snakes, you want to see tigers, lions, turtles, and tortoises, and all kinds of crazy animals. Animals. Well guys, all you have to do is go right now, hit the subscribe button, tap that little notification bell, and you'll be notified whenever I post 